I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Kindergarten 2. I asked you guys at the end of the last episode, which one would you guys rather see first? Kane's not able or things that go boom. The majority of the people have spoken. You want to see Kane's not able first. So we are going to do that right now because cool thing. You down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. And before we get into any shenanigans, I can't be going outside looking like this. I just can't. I got to show you guys something that I found in the last episode. Hag's hair and also pink pantsuit. No, Hag's rags. There you go. Look at this. We're looking like a dirty hag. I love looking like a dirty hag. And to start the mission, we need the A-plus thing and the prestigious pin. Okay, so let's get that. And let's also get that. And I already know a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, Jay, I don't remember you getting this hair and clothing combo in an episode before. Well, off camera, I got Smokey. You guys remember good old Smokey? The cat that I got from the dumpster person that I accidentally microwaved and I accidentally put in the crusher. Well, once you get Smokey, give Smokey to that pimple face freak inside the school. And then you're going to get this hair and clothing combo. So that's how I got it. But anyway, let us start Kane's Not Able. I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you, Anne. I know. It's just... I don't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... Ahem. How long have you been listening to our little chat? Show Applesoft pin, my lord. Oh, my apologies. I didn't realize that you were a man of status. Apology accepted. You must be a new student. My name is Felix Huxley, heir to the Applesoft Empire. And I'm Ted. Ugh. Must you always be like this, Teddy? Sorry, Felix. I just thought I should... Enough! My word, Teddy. You really are out of line today. Say, anyone with that pin must be trustworthy. Teddy, I think we should let this fine fellow in our little plan. But... But I don't think it's a good idea. Ozzy is... Just shut up! If you won't help me, I'm sure this fine fellow will. What do you need? Doesn't he want me to, like, kill his brother? Give this document to Ozzy. It's imperative that he reads and understands it. Got it? What does it say? Oh, uh, it's a secret. Just give it to him and make sure he reads it. Oakley doakley. Good. Meet me in the smart class after it's done. We have much to discuss. Okay. Felix wants you to read this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your roll there, new kid. I'm not taking anything from you. Your hands are filthy. So you won't take it? Not until your hands are clean. Get out of here, you filthy animal. I'm not a filthy animal. Your mom's a filthy animal when she sees me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get the hand sanitizer from Monty because I remember he was selling it. You're selling stuff? I would like to buy something. Hand sanitizer. Ka-ching! I think we gotta talk to him to wash these stinky hands. I'm not taking anything from you until your hands are clean. Use hand sanitizer. That's better. Let me see that thing. Ugh, typical Felix. He knows I can't read. Come on, kid. Let's find someone who could read this for me. Okay, then. Well, Monty can read. So Monty is the MVP of this episode so far. Hey, uh, you looking to buy something? I need to get to the handicap ramp. Can you read? There you go. Come on, kid. You know I can. You also know it'll cost you. Do we have a deal? Six bucks? Why so much? I only got three dollars. How about because I saw you talking to money bags over there? That and my medical bills are expensive. So do we have a deal? His medical bills are expensive, but he only wants six bucks. Okay. You know what? We're going to talk to him. Well... Does he understand what he's supposed to do? Not yet. I need money, guys. Hey, you must be one of the new kids. I'm Carla. Do you have any contraband on you? Can you read? Chuh. Yeah, I can read. What's it to you? We need you to read something. Unless it's required reading, I'm not interested. Aw, man. What about Penny? No, she's going to take that from me. The janitor. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Can you read? Hey, hey, hey. The only reading I do is obituaries. Is that what you want me to read for you? No, then I ain't interested in reading it. Ah, oh, what are the new specimens? Not that we'll be seeing much of each other. I need you to read. Okay, I guess I can't get any adults to read. What about you, Jiggle Tits? Damn it, you freaking boobs of Jiggle. What about the nice janitor guy? Can you read? What? Nuggy Wuggy. Ah, nobody can read for me. What is this horse shit? Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it. Can you read, though? Yeah, I mean, I could if I could. Get these tears out of my eyes. Pussy. Never mind then. I know how to get the tears out of her eyes. Because I remember Cindy gave me a tissue for my issue. This new school is so much more my style. Especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? I thought we were together. Sorry, honey. But we're yesterday's news. Besides, we both know I'm too good for you anyway. Ouch. Here's a tissue. Cry me a river. Now, will you help me get a new boyfriend? I've got better things to do. 
like give Jerome a tissue and wipe away his tears. Because I remember in the last game, we killed his dad or something. Go away, kid. I don't want to talk about it. You look like you could use this. Thanks, man. I can't believe they made me come to school today. So can you read this for me? All right, yeah. Give me a second. Okay, it says, act extremely vulnerable. Mention frequently how if something bad happens to you, it would ruin your mom's company. Okay, I guess I could do that. Don't know why he wants me to, but I'm happy to take his money. Good to hear. That's the bell! Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Go to smart class. Okay, we already know all this. We gotta go talk to the main man today. So let's see, he's taking this assessment, but I'm gonna bother him. Oh, good. I was hoping I would see you here. I take it Ozzy knows he's part of the plan? He does. Excellent. I suppose you would like to learn what the plan actually is? That would be helpful, not really, just tell me what to do. I know I would like to know, and I know you guys would like to know, so let's see what it is. Before I do that, I need you to sign this contract. It's a basic non-disclosure. You can't tell anyone about this, especially Teddy. Okay, let's sign that, even though we don't know how to read, apparently we know how to write. You see, my father's company is large and very important. Teddy and I are the heirs to his commercial empire. You want to be the sole heir. Exactly. Teddy is far too naive to run a business. He must be taken care of. You want to kill him? Heavens no! I just need your assistance setting everything up. Ozzy is already doing his part. What's Ozzy's part? Ozzy's mother has recently begun a startup company that directly competes with our company. So why not kill Ozzy? That's what Teddy thinks we're doing. He wasn't on board with the plan, but Ozzy is going to drop a few hints that should persuade Teddy to strike now. So what do you need me to do? Do you see that jar of spiders on the top shelf over there? Uh-huh. We're going to need them. Bring them to me before the bell rings. Can I ask why? Because Teddy, like most people, hates spiders. We need them. Get them now. There's a vent that's connected from the girls' bathroom. I had Carla jam it up before class, so Bob should have a ladder against it now. What about Bob? He's easy enough to distract. Cause a janitorial emergency. That should keep him busy. Fair enough. I think I know what to do. Hey, what gifts? This is just a box of cleaning supplies. So the cleaning supplies are gonna be crucial. Cause I think I need to get the toilet paper, clog it up, and then ba blam Bob is gonna be preoccupied. Thank you for taking your assessment. Please take your pick of cleaning supplies. I mean prizes. I will take the toilet paper, please. There you go. Enjoy your prize. Now go do some smart child things. Okay, I need to do some hood rat things like poo-poo and pee-pee inside of the toilet, so may I please leave? Yes, that's quite all right. Just be back before the bell rings. Can do. Okay, I feel like I'm on one today, guys. Like, I know exactly what items to put where. So, let's clog this toilet. I'm not comfortable using the stalls in the girls' room, but I am comfortable with clogging them. Ha! <laughs> Got it! Woohoo! Boy, that shirt tired out my arms. I'll close it back up in a second. Oh, okay. Uh, do we talk to you about the clogged toilet? My arms are pretty tired after messing with that vent. I'll get back to it in a moment. The toilet is clogged. Oh, dear. I suppose that takes priority over this. Thanks for letting me know. I better go get a plunger from the janitor's closet. Please don't kill me. Kill you? Of course not. I'm just gonna have to go get the plunger from the utility closet. I'll be right back. Okay. What a nice guy. He's like the nicest janitor that we've ever had at this school. Okay, so let me get the spiders. This is the jar of spiders Felix wanted. I still don't know why. It doesn't matter why. All that matters is that we all gotta get out of here. I hope you learned all something today. Please go. How did you get up? You know what? Never mind. Get down and get out of my class. Okay. That is gonna blast me with that ray gun. Or blast me with that big ass forehead. So let's talk to our main man over here. Oh, right on cue. Teddy's already picked up lunch for you. I take it you were able to get the item I requested? Yep. Excellent. But let's not let Teddy see it. See what? What is he? Let me see it, Felix. <clears throat> uh, Teddy, weren't you just telling me something about Ozzy? Something important? Oh, yeah. I heard Ozzy mention that if something were to happen to him today, that his mom's company would be finished. I think you were right, Felix. So you're on board with our little plan then, Teddy? I think so, but you have to let me help. I want to show father how capable I am. Oh, don't worry, Teddy. <laughs> you have the most important part. Anyway, for the next part of the plan, we need someone to dig us a hole. Know anyone who could help? I think so. Excellent. Lead the way. Alright, well, it's Nugget, but he only has one arm. How's he gonna dig? Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. We need you to dig a hole. Nugget would like to dig a hole, but Nugget is missing his shovel and his arm. If we were able to provide you with those things, would you dig a hole for us? What is in it for Nugget? 
You say nugget a lot. Um, what if I took you to my family's, uh, nugget factory? Ne, 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 nugget. Nugget factory! Oh dear. Nugget will happily dig a hole for the trip to the nugget factory. Bring Nugget a shovel and an arm. Nugget will dig a hole as fast as lightning and deep as hell. Right. Well, we can get a shovel in the janitor's closet. I'm not sure what we can do about your arm, but maybe we can cover that at recess. Nugget eagerly awaits your return. Well, I admire his enthusiasm. I anticipated the shovel, but not the arm. So what now? Talk to Carla. She has the key to the janitor's closet for you. Go get the shovel while I figure out what to do about the arm. Okay. Also, take my passbook. You'll need it to get out of here. Okay. Uh, do we still need to buy a burger? Oh, no. We already got a burger. I forgot the brother bought me a burger. Okay, Carla, you're up next. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? Felix said you had something for me. Heh. <laughs> Lighten up, new kid. I got you. Here's the key to the closet. Have a party. Thanks. Alright, and then Mr. Baldy-ass evil janitor move, but that doesn't even matter. What are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. But I bought a boy good. Oh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passbook. Here you go. There you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome, you scary stinky lady. But yeah, in order to get the outfit that I'm wearing right now, you gotta get smoky and then you gotta give it to this kid right here. Hey man, you need a pass to be out here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I have one, you jackass! Oh, bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. I don't know, but he's got a megaphone. This is the door to the janitor's closet. It's locked, but I got the key. Ooh, yeah. This is what I like. Look at that, me gusta. I want that big, juicy axe. These weapons are way too big for me to carry. The axe looks like it's been used recently. That's weird, though. Because why is it bloody? If the evil janitor didn't come in here, that means the nice janitor used this axe. Because you guys saw the janitor. He had nice, big, buff arms. He's the only one other than the old guy who can carry that big-ass axe. This vat is giving off some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running to the cafeteria. Leave the vat alone. There's a chainsaw and a shovel on the shelf. What if I took the chainsaw? What could we do with that? Okay, I'm gonna get the shovel like I'm supposed to right now. But we're gonna come back here and take the chainsaw and see what we can do with that. But let's take the shovel. Hey, what the? Kids aren't supposed to be in here. There's lots of sharp objects and bad chemicals and... Blood! There's blood on the floor there! Did you cut yourself? Are you okay? It's not my blood. But, but, whose blood is it then? It would have to be, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Something isn't right. Wait, why is he acting like he doesn't know whose blood that is on the axe? This is his closet! Are you okay, Bob? I'm fine. Just having trouble remembering what happened yesterday. Why is this here? What happened? I don't know. That's the bell. Why don't you head out to recess? I think it's best if I figure this out by myself. Okay, weirdo. I feel like he was either bullshitting us or he's been like mind controlled or something. But let us give the shovel to Nugget. Nugget thinks this would be a good place for the Nugget cave. Oh no, I gotta talk to the brother first then. Were you successful in your endeavors? Yes, were you? No need to be snippy. I've identified a potential donor. The trick is collecting the, um, goods. Who is the target? The little wheelchair boy. <laughs> oh no, no. He already doesn't have legs, so we're gonna take his arm? He won't put up much of a fight. How do I get his arm? I spoke with him at lunch about a very lucrative business deal. So what? So when I give the signal, he'll meet me inside to sign the papers. He'll be all alone. It'll be the perfect time to strike. Got it. Excellent. Just give the word and I'll send the signal. Be sure to have your passbook ready so you can get inside. Where can I find a passbook? You mean you don't have one? That's right. You're new. Maybe someone threw one away. Check inside the dumpster. I'll see what I can find. Okay, so last time the guy actually gave me a passbook if I didn't want to take the cat. So this should be easy peasy. Wake up, you freak! <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, hello, Chad. So good to have a visitor. Chad, you wouldn't have to have any food on you. I got a boy girl. Ooh, a burger. It's got a smoky flavor to it. It reminds me of my cat, Smokey. Do you want him? Got anything else? Aw, oh, you don't want my cat? That's too bad. Let me see if there's something else in here. Oh, here we go. One of them passbooks you kids use. Thanks for the food. No problem. Bye-bye, Dan. <laughs> That's how I imagine him, you know, going back down there. I mean her. It's a her. A lot of you guys keep correcting me. 
and saying that I keep saying he, and it's actually a she. I'm sorry! I'm hyper today, guys. I don't know what it is. I'm so hyper today. I love it. I love this game so much. Did you find one? Are you ready to get that arm? I'm ready. It's time. He's inside. Don't keep him waiting. I sounded like that guy from Call of Duty. Mission fail. We'll get him next time. Where do you think you're going? You're not allowed inside. I need to use the bathroom. Fine. Have a good time. Right. All right, Monty. Oh, no. Hold it right there, kid. Not a step closer. I know what you're about to try. Oh, my God. He pulled out the ch on us. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please. Felix is a good businessman, but I've been doing this a lot longer than he has. You can tell him. Hey, what's going on over here? Only one student is allowed to pass through at a time. Oh, shut up, hall nerd. We're talking business here. As I was saying, you can tell him. One of you has to go back outside right now. I mean it. Uh, okay, how about this then? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but it was still so dope when it did. Ah! You shot my arm! My arm, it's gone, my arm! There's your arm, kid. You don't need mine anymore. You can tell Felix the price on the goods just doubled. See how he feels about that. Monty is a freaking G! I didn't know there were gangsters in this school. This is Stevie's arm. It has blocked many children trespassing in his halls. Take the arm. I'm taking the hell out of that. Go to the gym. Please. Okay, Stevie. <laughs> he should be dead by now. I mean, that's a big asshole where his arm used to be. Huh. My life is ruined. It can actually get worse. So what are we doing here? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Go run laps or bounce that orange ball or something. I guess we could do that. I'm gonna go stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. I wouldn't expect anything less. Okay, Monty is a freaking G, guys. I love Monty so much. Come with me. We're almost ready to make our move. Teddy, you know your job. I should do, Felix. I won't let you down. We're gonna do this and then you and father will finally... Yes, yes, yes. Now get to it. We'll meet you at the playground. There. We're ready to move forward. What did you tell him? I told him to guard the location of the hole. Little does he know he's protecting his burial site. Damn, that's so messed up. What's next? Go give the weirdo that arm. We'll need him to get started immediately. Okay. So let's go give Nugget his arm. How is this going to work? Do you have the arm for Nugget? Nugget would like an arm. Yes. <coughs> Nugget likes this arm. Nugget is now ready to earn his trip to Nugget Factory. Good. Get digging. Nugget will dig, but teacher will not let Nugget leave. Teacher must be removed for Nugget to dig. I'll see what I can do. I already know what to do, guys. We did this in the first episode. If you guys haven't seen it, basically, we uh, get the ball thrown at Jiggle Tits, and she comes over here, gets mad, starts smacking up Jerome, Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Look at this. Oh, uh, and then she's going to go jiggle her way out to greatness. Nugget will dig. Nugget will dig for the nuggets. Have fun with that. How did that even work, guys? We put the arm back on his body, but how did that work? It's almost time to make our move. With the nugget weirdo digging the hole and Teddy supervising its development, we just need one more thing, which is... We're going to need something to rough him up a bit. Just something we can use for a good bludgeoning. I'll see what I can find. Excellent. Bring it to the sand pit where the grave is being dug. I'll see you there. Okay, I think I know what it is, guys. Because like I said, in the first episode, I was doing things all out of order. Like, different events were triggering. And I remember what Jiggle Tits used to get Jerome. There we go. Huh. Huh. He, he was much faster than I thought. Worked up a sweat, smacking him around. You killed Jerome. Yes. Huh. And I feel better. And tired. No one of the janitor... Likes hitting you kids with stuff. I'm just gonna leave you here. And I'm gonna take the stick right from his left eyeball. This guy's still dead? My arm. It it hurts. Mommy, it hurts. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, the gang's all here. Oh, raw on schedule. Did you get what I requested? Yes. Oh, the teacher's pointing stick. Excellent choice. This will do splendidly. Well, Teddy, it's time. Okay, I'm ready. But where's Ozzy? Oh, poor simple stupid Teddy. This isn't a crate for Aussie. No, no, no. It's for you. Wait, no. What? Felix, you can't. I did everything you said. And Applesoft thanks you for your service. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! 
I tried to scream in British Australian accent, I swear, guys. Now for the spiders. What? Drop the spiders in the hole. Okay, okay. Oh, so what? The spiders are going to eat them? Are they man-eating spiders? Ted is at the bottom of this hole. Felix has asked me to empty this jar of spiders into it. Okay, so we are going to empty the jar. Ted has suffered enough. No, he hasn't. Empty the damn jar. Ah! Oh, why? Felix, stop! They're in my hair! They're crawling all over me! Yes, yes. That's kind of the point. Okay, weirdo. Time to fill in the hole. And then you take Nugget to the Nugget Factory? He is so horny for those nuggets! <sighs> yes, of course. Nugget will fill in the hole. Nugget will fill in the hole for nuggets. I bet you he wants to fill a nugget hole. What? Like with something else. Right on schedule. Let's get to the schoolyard. I have something important to give you. Okay. <laughs> this mission was so ridiculous. <laughs> this mission is so goddamn ridiculous. Well, the deed is done. It is. I appreciate your assistance. I'm sure you'll be wanting your payment then. Yes, I do. There you are. The finest semi-legal chemical in existence. What's it do? You know those pills from your old school? This is the key ingredient in making them. Interesting. Please accept this monster mon card as well. It's a treasure chest, but the real treasure is the friends we buried alive along the way. I don't think that's the same. Silence. Our business is complete. Good day to you, Hitman. Wait for nuggets! Aw, oh, Nuggy! Nugget is finished filling in the hole. Nugget will now take a trip to the Nugget Factory. Oh, yes. How could I forget? Um, hey, weirdo. If there wasn't a Nugget Factory, that would be okay, right? Nugget would bury the rich boy with his rich brother. Yes, do it! Right. Okay, then. The limo is this way, weirdo. I hope they make nuggets somewhere around here. Nugget has never been happier. <laughs> I would have much rather seen him bury the other brother. So we got Felix's Strange Chemical. I'm assuming this is to make the pills for Jiggle Tits. We are going to do that in the next episode. But I told you guys that we are going to try to take the chainsaw and let's see if we can do anything else with it. I highly doubt it, but you know what? We're just going to try it. There are a couple spiders on the wall here. I'm not touching them unless I can spray them with something first. I remember I got that spray bottle, but I couldn't spray them with anything. That's so weird. Well, let's unlock the door. And then instead of taking the shovel, let's take the chainsaw. Wait, take the monster mon card. Whoops. Oh, I already got that one. Okay, so take the chainsaw. Hey, what the? Kids aren't supposed to be in here. There's lots of sharp objects and bad chemicals and blood. There's blood on the floor there. Okay, we know that. It's not my blood. What do you know about that blood, Bob? There's something you're not telling us. Well, we got the chainsaw, so let's see what we can do with it. Were you successful in your endeavors? I was not. Um, so that's the end of the mission. I guess we failed that one. What? Just because I can't walk doesn't mean I can't play. I just wanted to buy something. Or I just wanted to sell something. Oh. Heh <laughs> heh. Sorry. I can be a little defensive about this whole not being able to walk thing. What did you want to sell? I don't want to sell anything. Is there anybody that I can talk to that would be on the other side of this chainsaw? Please tell me. Because I would like to saw somebody up. Okay, you know what, guys? I just talked to everybody that was around this area. I think that the chainsaw is only for that janitor mission. You know, when he slices the other janitor up. So I don't think that we can actually use it for anything else. But if you guys are excited to see the next episode as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead. Dude! <laughs>